It's hard to imagine living here in the desert that beneath our feet, deep underground, are aquifers with millions of acre feet of water in them. But a new study coming from ASU professors say that groundwater level is depleting just as fast as major reservoirs like Lake Mead in the southwest. And we're losing a lot of water. Professor Jay Familetti was part of the study published this week, showing underground the lower Colorado River Basin has lost as much groundwater that is in Lake Mead in the last 20 years. The bulk of it is not going to be replaced. It was deposited in our aquifers, you know, tens to hundreds of thousands of years ago. The study saying losses have come from a mix of drought, demand from urban growth, and unregulated agriculture pumping. Pamaletti says tough choices are coming, balancing the growing Southwest population and economy versus some of the things that perhaps we don't need to do, like grow so much alfalfa and export it out of the country. Alfalfa, if you like ice cream, cottage cheese, and milk, this is where the foundation it comes from for feed for livestock. On Mesa Mayor Mark Freeman's Valley Alfalfa Farm, water use is watched closely. What we do in Mesa and other municipalities is we bank excess water underground. We're only allowed to pump X amount of water out of your well sites and your ground, and they're monitored. Across the state, this isn't always the case. In other areas of Arizona, they don't have those guardrails on there, so they there's unlimited pumping. With all eyes on the river, both Freeman and Familetti say more regulation is needed underground to secure the Southwest's water future. The surface water gets all the, the policy attention. The groundwater is quietly disappearing. The Colorado River Basin states are negotiating new water agreements for after 2026, and the ASU professors say any cuts Arizona takes could increase pressure on that already decreasing groundwater supply. Adam Klepp, ABC 15, Arizona.